Hello and welcome to the Main Street Matters webinar. My name is Patrick Kaiser. I am the executive director of Heart on Main Street. We are a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping independent retailers, uh, providing resources and information so that retailers can build better businesses and better business practices. Our guest today is Carolyn Williamson, of uh, the Senior Director of Partnerships for Comment Sold. Comment Sold is the number one video, live video selling platform in the world. Uh, they've helped thousands of customers increase their business, reach new customers through live selling. And today she is going to be talking to us about live selling and how to harness the power of live selling for you to, to grow your business. So Carolyn, thank you so much for joining today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Excited yeah. to be here. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Um, I think this thing, topic is incredibly important. Uh, it's very important for retailers. Live selling is such a growing thing. I was talking with someone just the other week, and they were talking about how they did a live uh, opening, a um, uh, box opening. And we're talking about products, going through it live, and just they were sold out of them within a couple of days. Like people saw it, they wanted it, they came into their store, they were asking and commenting on it. It was just, it was just a huge revenue thing. They're saying that, you know, had I put these on the shelves, it would have taken weeks in, in order yeah. to move this, but it was days that this went through. So I think live selling is something that people maybe kind of dip their toes into during the pandemic, um, kind of out of a function of need because they couldn't see their customers. But when stores open back up, a lot of people, like, I wasn't that comfortable on camera to begin with. And so maybe I kind of went back to my old ways, but it's a growing it's a super powerful way to reach customers and to be able to sell more product. Um, so I'm excited to learn about uh, today. And uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we'll you know there's a lot of people out there that don't know a lot about live selling. Kind of working on maybe a little bit more of a of a base level. So I think today we're going to kind of start there a little bit of the of what is live selling how to, you know, the, some of the ideas behind it, maybe not knowing how powerful this tool is, uh, and then we'll kind of build from there. So um, I'll let you kind of take away and and talk to us about, about live selling today. Yeah, actually, let me s s share my screen. And are you all able to see this? We should be able to. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, perfect. So yeah, Patrick, you're right. I mean, the people who are doing the live box that you just mentioned, there's a lot of buyer psychology that comes in when you're showing things on video and a lot of people want it and you just don't know who has it or who's going to get it. So things do move a little bit faster when you're able to get it and actually market it right, especially in those channels where people really are. So uh, it's great to hear that story. I'm going to continue and give you a lot of data a lot of data today <laughs> on the why the power of live selling actually works. Um, but just to get started, uh, for those of you who have not met pretty much all of you, I am Carolyn, Senior Director of Partnerships here at Comment Sold. I've been working in live and video commerce technologies for 12 years. I spent the last six years at Comment Sold, originally leading our sales and marketing efforts, and then moved over into partnerships about three years ago and working in our ecosystem of partners, which is why I was lucky to meet Patrick and everything that you all are doing at Heart on Main Street. So before that, I did six years as the president of an auction technology company. Um, and then we did six years here. So whether it's working closely with antiques, real estate, I just really enjoy helping small businesses and small business America succeed. And I know that live video for fact has worked. So many of the similarities in the buyer behavior that I was telling you about in time live auctions are very similar to timed live events. So whether it's using FOMO, scarcity, limited amounts, or social validation by having a lot of people bidding or a lot of people buying at the same time, all of that stuff works. Um, and there's a psychology behind it. So anyway, today I'm going to tell you a bit about the Comment Sold platform, what we're set out to do, but I'm really mostly going to spend most of my time diving into that data on what we're seeing in the market the forecast for the future. This is a worldwide phenomenon that's happening. This isn't just here in the US. There are worldwide trends that are happening here that I will share with you today. Um, and then I'm also gonna share behind the scenes for us because we have had thousands of retailers in the US using live selling. So I'm gonna share with you their data 
as well. And then at the end, I'm going to go into some high level. Now, how could you actually do this too? Because as you mentioned, Patrick, it is a little scary getting started. How the heck am I going to do this? Well, don't worry. We do have some answers and I will dive into that. But first, let me go into what Comments Sold is. Uh, as Patrick mentioned, we are the number one live selling platform in the United States. We've been around since 2017, helping retailers scale their businesses through live and social selling. And today we are still the leading the way in top ranked among a comparison sites. So when you're out there looking at options out there, uh, you're not going to find anyone better <laughs> uh, just because <laughs> we have the experience doing it. Um, but one unique aspect about our platform versus anything else that you're going to see out there is really just the fact that we are really focused on helping you scale your business. We know that there's a lot that it comes into building your business, like managing inventory, getting invoices, collecting payments. And our system really focuses on all of the administrative work um, while you're li also live streaming simultaneously to all the places your people are like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, your website, and even in a mobile app that we can build for you to help really build that your own community that shops with you. So as you can see on the screen here, uh, shoppers are able to easily purchase on social just by commenting sold. And then our software is on the back end, sending invoices, collecting payments, and all of the other operations that it takes to actually get the sale closed in the order for you to then go fulfill. Um, but overall, we did start in 2017. Um, you, you may have remembered that Facebook Live was a brand new thing, a brand new puppy back in our, back in those days. And that's really kind of how we got it started is that there was one small business owner who needed automation for selling on Facebook. And they were in the women's fast fashion, which was our foundation. And we've ex um, aggressively expanded into jewelry, beauty, streetwear, home goods, crafting, and the secondary market is huge as well too. So, um, the the pandemic in 2020 did fuel a lot of growth for us. I promise you every brick and mortar and their mother wanted and needed to figure out how the heck do you connect to your base while your doors are shut. And what they found out is when they were using our platform, they really enjoyed being able to reach people through other channels. They didn't have to just rely on their doors being open and people walking in physically. They're able to reach them on Instagram where everyone is vortexing all day long, just scrolling on pictures. Um, and they're able to create an in-store shopping experience online because the video is live. People are able to ask questions uh, like, show me this, and you're able to stop and take care of them. And other people are able to watch that and tune in. And you really start building a community and a connection with your customers. Um, and they all the customers love being able to engage directly without actually having to put on real clothes. They love shopping in their pajamas <laughs> as well, too. So lots of benefits and reasons why uh, brick and mortars loved using us during the pandemic and still do today. Uh, but let's get into some data. Um, live video commerce really is taking over. You will hear me say that it is the wild west days of growth. And, and that is today. I still feel, even though I've been in the industry for 12 years, I still feel like we are in its infancy here in the U S. Um, and there's no wonder why video selling is the number way, number one ways for brands to increase their reach. And that's because 63% of millennials are already watching live video streams. You all have probably already watched one earlier today, or you will later tonight. Um, and 67% of live stream event viewers are becoming repeat purchasers, which is huge. So when they are purchasing from your live sale, they're coming back for the second show that you're doing a week later. Um, and then another 54% of consumers are asking for more live video from the brands that they love. They want to be able to engage with them in a very human way. So um, other than yeah. that, go ahead. So that, I mean, that's 67% number. So that two thirds of people that buy once from you, they're coming back, they're buying again, they're they're shopping your your store. 
um, and they're coming back and watching it and continuing to buy from you. That is, that's an amazing amount. Yeah. I mean, people love shopping with brands that they trust. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you if they have that- a good experience the first time, why not the second time? And yeah. you're making it so easy for them to shop. They can find you anywhere. Yeah. And you do get that in-store experience while they're sitting at home in bed. And um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's so powerful. Yeah. Uh, There are some other reasons why video commerce should matter. And let's just go through overall, just some market trends that we're seeing. Uh, The first and the biggest one is the fact that e-commerce or sorry, live commerce is estimated to be 57 billion with a B by the end of 2025. Um, For perspective in 2022, it was, we were at 20 million. So and by the end of 2025, the U.S. consumer shopping will be 57 billion of just live shopping, live video shopping. Um, and according to, this is all according to CoreSight research, by the way, um, 85% of consumers prefer purchasing via video content versus a static image when they're online. They want to see it in action. Um, and especially in clothing, they want to understand the fit the feel, they want to hear about it, the function. Oh, I'm going to wear this on a date. I'm going to wear this to a movie. This is going to look perfect if I add these accessories. And they want to be able to see it and hear it and understand that um, it's an actual good item that's going to work for them and, and their function and how their lifestyle. Other than that, we do know this third bullet point, social media algorithms, they reward video content. Every single platform out there wants video on their platform. So if you are on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, TikTok, doesn't matter. They will prioritize video content over anything static. And they will prioritize any live content over video. So live video content is king when it comes to social media. And that is key to finding new customers. You will be pushed to the top of the algorithms and be found sooner and faster than your competitors who are not using video. Um, Another statistic that is a little bit alarming, I definitely want to point out is, and it's not alarming if you're using video commerce, but traditional e-com conversion rates on your website are one to 3%, which means if somebody goes to your website out of a hundred people, there's about three of them and are actually going to put something in the cart and then check out. However, if you are doing live video and somebody lands on your website and they happen to see live video is going on right now, their curiosity is going to click in and we see 10% conversion rates. 10% of people who land on your website when you have live video are going to convert. Um, and that is through our data. Uh, so, And then the last one, of course, just people needing to more humanization during COVID, everyone was shut down and they are like craving a way to connect. And so everyone wants to be able to connect and humanize with a brand as well. I love that you you were talking that you can really kind of editorialize on the product and allow them, you know, I'm this would be great for a date. You can match it with this much easier than someone coming into your store and you might have one person, you know, it might be a one-on-one conversation here. It can be a one-on 20, 50. You are able to talk to so many people about this, tell what's going on with this, how you might use it. Um, if it's something that does take some explanation, you can reach so many people at that and really uh, be able to add more, more comment to it, more life to that product. Yeah. And and just put COVID aside. I mean, when somebody walks in your door, there's only so many people you can fit in your square footage of a physical building. But yet when you're on social, those can go viral. Yeah. And if you've got the right ad strategy on top of that, I mean, shut the front door. (laughs) (laughs) The opportunity is there. People, if you're doing consistent, people know it. Like, you know, hey, Thursday night, I know she's going to be doing this. I can go on. I can watch. I can see what's new in the store. um, Be able to buy it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Your people are definitely tuning in uh, and getting addicted to the brand. So um, also just looking ahead of like 
what China is doing. And I, and I have this on here just because China is the forefront of live video commerce. Yeah. Uh, they've been doing video commerce uh, the whole time, but every, it just goes, it's been going a lot faster over there. So we look at what they're doing in order to predict what we're, is coming for us. But already out of all the e-commerce that is happens in China, 20% of it is happening from lives. Wow. And the, there's one gentleman on Alibaba singles day that hosted, and I'm not going to say his name, Tao Bao. I'm not going to say his name, right? I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, but he did generate $7.5 billion in a single live that was 30 minutes long, like just went sold, sold, sold. like <laughs> seven billion dollars on a single freaking live 30 minutes long it's just just insane um and we are headed that way we have uh shops that do marathon black friday lives uh, and they do marathon cyber monday lives we've seen million dollar days uh for some of our shops as well so and then Two out of three consumers in China are already shopping through live streams. We're not too far behind on that one. Um, Tommy Hilfiger sold 1,300 hoodies to an audience of 14 million in less than two minutes. I know we're mostly small businesses, but just want to show like people are getting accustomed to shopping in this manner because our big box stores are also yep. jumping on this as well. So um, in as I mentioned earlier, our sales in 2022 were about 20 billion. At uh, in at the end of 2023, China is expected to have 400 billion at the end of this year. That's at the end of this year. Wow. At the end of this year. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, we're not far behind. Right. But um, yeah, just it's a much bigger prevalent. And yeah, I mean, that's the way that people are buying. And that's, you know, it'll it'll continue over here as well. Yep. And uh, although we're estimated to be 57 billion by the end of 2025, we will be at 68 by end of 2026. So, um, of course, 25% already enjoy and prefer discover new products through live shopping and through live streams. So, and then of course it helps when Walmart is out there advertising live streaming as well, because again, it's getting, buyers accustomed to shopping in this manner so when they come and shop at small businesses they're already used to doing this it's not something that you're having to teach them because they're already getting accustomed to it from big business okay so now i want to just tell you some data these are fully these these are numbers that they on the screen that are all about our customers so out of the 4,000 retailers that are already doing live selling through the Commons Old platform, we've had close to $4 billion in GMV already. Um, we see about 500 live sales every single day. We have shops that are going live uh, sometimes up to three times a day. You know, there are many shops that start out a single live once a week, which is an amazing place to start. One live sale, 30 minutes, Thursday nights at seven, Wednesday nights at seven, whatever it is, starting with just a single live sale for 30 minutes is great. Um, and then we have shops that are three live sales a day, different types of segments that are happening. Either way, we have sold more than 160 million products through the platform. Our businesses have. We have had more than 23 million shoppers purchase through this platform. Um, and then over 700,000 hours of live video watched. Um, what we're seeing is that your customer lifetime value is three times more when they're actually educated and entertained versus if they just go to your website and they have to flip through a sea of pages, find the product, educate themselves. We're taking a lot of work for them off of their plate by having this live video and showcasing the best products right there. So uh, customers love that and they're coming back three times more. Uh, more our shops are also seeing four times greater organic social media reach. And that's a big part because they are live streaming. 
but also because the engagement on those live streams are also boosting it as well too. So just because you're live streaming, that's great, but people need to comment and engage with you as well. We are seeing six times the social media engagement because of that as well. And then 52, this is a, an exciting one, 52% of cart conversion rates. So people, when they come to your website, if they are putting something in their cart, amazing. And now 50, at least 52% of those are actually then fully completing the checkout. And then last but not least at all, in any way, uh, 2% or less of items are returned after being bought from a live stream. So you're giving them life, right? So they, they kind of know the expectation of it, that they're, it comes as advertised. They, yeah. yeah, I can, I can buy a black dress on a model or I can buy like from a e-commerce website, or I can buy one from a realistic human that yeah. is size 12 and I can see exactly what it looks like. And be able to envision what it's going to look like on me. So, okay. So I think we're, we're good on data. I think it would be good to just kind of walk through what some of these live selling concepts are. Um, and I'll start, I think there, there's two main ones that I really want to hit on. There is the, uh, a really heavy product focus one which I love coming from the auction industry. I'll, I'll talk about both of these here in a second. And then the second one is more of a contextual selling one, which I also love, um, but it's more about just a few products. But starting with the first one, the product live selling show, this is gonna be a, uh, a live sale that is probably about 30 minutes to an hour. And you're gonna showcase about 20, at least 20 products. Now, when you think of 20 products in a single hour, that means your cadence has to be down. I've got an hour of this show. I've got 20 products. That means I've got three minutes per product. But hold on. I've got an intro and an outro, and I probably have some pay breaks in between. So we're talking about closer to two minutes per product. So we're going to get in. I'm going to show you the item. I'm going to be excited about it. I'm going to tell you everything. It's black. It comes in purple, green, blue, all the different ways, all the different sizes. I'll tell you about the fabrics. I'll tell you about the function. And then I'm going to tell you, well, there's only a few left. This is a very QVC model, I would say, where you've got, uh, let's get in, let's get out and show them the next one. This would is the that very first type of live selling is what I would say is 85% of the lives that we see at Comments Sold and the most successful with us. These are live sales where you've got multiple products. It keeps the show interesting. You're able to, all right, let's do the next one. Okay. Oh, we only have three more of those. Oh, actually it sold out. You better bid faster. You better comment sooner. Uh, and then the next item comes up. Um, okay. And then those are really good about like, um, especially like if you have new arrivals collections, or if you've got maybe a warehouse of everything that you want to just get rid of everything, maybe we want to have a big inventory sale. We're going to only have a few or three of, of something. Um, the next type of live sale, though, is a little bit slower. It's a lot slower. It's more of that contextual live selling. And these do really well, too. They're just different. And this is going to be maybe like two to 10 products. And it is very contextual in the fact that we're going to be storytelling a lot slower. Um, let, let's think of like a cooking show where we're going to be selling all the pots and pans. I'm going to be making a dish. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use that dish while I'm cooking, how easy it is to clean that dish while I'm doing it. But it's more like the focus is on a single or a couple of products. You may also see this like fitness equipment, or you may see this with like makeup tutorials or gadgets or like beauty gadgets would also be easy ones to do where you're just having like two or three products that you're showcasing over a 30 minute segment. So those are going to be the two main types of live sales that we see shops doing. 
So with the product would probably be more kind of your, you said like bestsellers or something that you have a lot of, I mean, you know, that maybe trying to kind of go through them quickly, the contextual, something that may takes a lot more time to explain. Um, really, how would you use this going through really giving that, that extra context to it? Yeah, it could be electronics. I could see fishing gear or, okay. I could yeah. see, you know, like sporting goods, you know, things where you're going to talk about, oh, I would use this fishing pole. It's got the so-and-so, like you're going to go into detail of every, the rod, the, every, I'm not a fisher, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I can, my dad shops live sell fishing shows. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he watches somebody make um, gummy worms, like the, they'll make the worms on the live and okay. people comment and you're like, I want a glittery yellow one yeah. and people are like all right i'm gonna make it here right now on this live and he just sits there and watches them pour the stuff and he and it's just phenomenal yeah so <laughs> if you have something that is you're making jewelry in your store you're doing something like that that could be a you know you could you can make it live right there for them so yes the craft lives that i have seen have been insane so picture holiday seasons are coming up i need a reef for Ooh. everything I need a brief for my door for Halloween. I'm going to need a one for Christmas, one for Thanksgiving. I'm just going to make this wreath right here in front of you. And if you want to buy the whole kit and caboodle, we can do that. You want to buy just the ribbon? You want to add just your flair? Craft lives, quilting yeah. lives, all of those are very addicting and they sell very well, very, very well. Yeah, love that. You have crafts out there, you're doing something in your store. Yeah, you know, that can be a great focus of it too. It doesn't have to be you talking all, the whole time. Um, might be something, you know, you're kind of doing your work, you're you're going about making the wreath. Um, but people watch it. They want to see that. They want to see how it's done. They want to see the quality behind it. Yep. And they want to see how easy it is to make and yeah. they can picture themselves doing it too. Yeah. And they're like, okay, cool. I I know your store now. I know what you're doing. I I can come in, I can buy that, something similar to that. I can um uh, yeah, it's awesome. And I mean, crafts and hobbies, those are just great like downtime ways for people to spend their income. Like I'm what are we making this week? What are we mm -hmm. gonna do next week? You know, right. like people love to learn and they don't mind spending on those types of hobbies and habits as well, too. So excellent. Yeah. All right. Um, next, I'm just going to switch gears and because I do want to, I know we've talked about live sales, live selling, but any, any kind of video can actually be shoppable. So you'll see a lot of people make short form video as well. And that does very well for entertaining and driving conversions as well. So I did want to put a slide in here because I it can't miss it. But just imagine spending 45 minutes to make a TikTok video and then being able to turn that video into content that you then put on other platforms where people can shop and buy. Uh, you should definitely do that. Um, it doesn't have to be a live, as I mentioned. Shoppers are able to comment specifically on pre-recorded videos, Instagram stories, reels, and all of that when they comment sold puts it in their cart and they're able to then complete the checkout process. So it doesn't have to just be lives. It can be video in general. We just know that lives are prioritized with algorithms on social. Yeah. And I want to take a second because I mean, we're talking about live selling and there is so much data that this is a growing thing, but comment sold platform mm -hmm. um, allows people to just write sold in it automatically bills invoices it you know it, it sells the product to them right away correct can you kind of walk through that yeah and i've got some uh slides here at the end okay sorry didn't mean well, to, to no no, no yeah, it's a but, great question but yeah common salts platform really does help you sell on social on any it doesn't matter if it's a live video pre-recorded video static image maybe it's a carousel going through, you know, like it doesn't matter. You can comment sold and our system automatically will send the invoice either through Facebook messenger or Instagram messenger, or sorry, they're called meta. Now we'll send the invoice through meta. It goes directly to their cart and they never actually leave Instagram. They're checking out right then and there. And that's what we want. To be honest, we want to cut that buyer cycle in half and we want to get them where they are in the moment instead right. of now go check out this website. I've got it in the cart on the website. I hope you, 
I hope you get to the end. Four or five <laughs> clicks away yeah. and they, you, know, you lose the steam. Yeah. We want to reduce the leaks in the funnel for sure. And like, let's get them right then when they're excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to jump ahead, but I just kind of wanted to touch on that, that, I mean, the platform that you all have is, it makes it very, very easy for, for customers. It's, it's super easy. It's kind of ridiculous where you can, can just focus on the live and just selling your products, curating the best products, selling them how only you could probably do. Yeah. Um, and we're really like the dirty work behind the scenes on the admin stuff, sending the invoices, collecting the payments, giving you an order that's ready to then go be fulfilled. So um, I did want to go through talking more about the how this is, uh, we'll show you a little bit behind the scenes about the platform itself. But first off, I just wanted to show you like how simple it could be when it, we're talking about the setup over here on the left hand. This is our friend Peyton. She has a store. She has a ring light in her phone and that's it. She's able to go live literally with a ring light in her phone. We do recommend that you have a dedicated iPhone specifically for lives that's already set up in your um, in some type of area in your uh, brick and mortar so that people can go live. You will probably not only you as the owner go live, but you will probably train your staff to go live. This is kind of like the new age showroom floor salesperson yeah. when you are interviewing and uh, you're writing your job descriptions. It's important to say you're here to sell these products. You're here to sell. You're going to work the floor and you may work two lives a week. Like it, that may just be part of it. Um, luckily, the software allows for remote lives. Hmm. So it can be something where you're working with your people. Maybe they have a setup at home. They take a few products home and they maybe they do a nighttime live um, and then they're in on the floor at the brick and mortar the next day. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity. It's a very simple setup. On the right hand side, you will see a little bit more of an advanced setup. And this is what I'm going to show you on the next screen as well. Um, but you can see she has a couple of different ring lights and behind her, uh, we have what's called the talent view. And I will show you a better version on this next screen, but she, uh, she's able to actually, this is uh, Shannon, and she's actually able to see all the comments coming in at, while people are shopping. So she's able to say, yes, Sarah, you are going to look lovely in that pink dress. I can't wait to see it on you. Make sure you tag us afterwards. Or Betty, yep, you want to see that item at, um, because you've got to get to soccer practice. Let me go ahead and scan it now so you can see it now before you head out the door. So it's a very simple setup. Um, as far as uh from your view as the retailer view this is the screen like that you'll be able to see behind um you'll see like on the right hand side when you are choosing to go live it's asking what platforms do you want to go live on we want to go live on the page on your facebook group maybe you have a private group and you want to do like a private shopping show or maybe you want to do like a public one on your facebook or your instagram um or maybe you want to go just on TikTok, but you will choose all of the places you want to go. Um, you can just do one. Maybe you do TikToks on Tuesdays and you have special products that are just for build because you want to build up your TikTok following that maybe you have a live specific for just that. But otherwise, um, you will see this screen. So you'll be able to see people as they come in. You'll notice um, there will be some tags to see like who your VIP customers are. Um, you'll know that if Tiffany is a first time purchaser, you can comment about that, which is nice. You always want to give somebody a first impression. So, uh, and then if you've got a VIP shopper watching your live, you always want to know about that too, uh, because they're, they're, they're ready to spend some money, but um. Let's see, what else do I wanna point out here? We talked about being able to, everyone viewing on multiple locations. So when they comment, you'll see that Tiffany is a first time purchaser on Facebook, or you'll see that Megan is a VIP customer shopping on TikTok. So you can see where they're at as well, which is really just helps personalize 
your response really? back to them. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure the love, the VIP customer wants you, know, you to call them out by name and oh, Tiffany, thanks for coming in today. And you know, having that personalization or in that first time buyer, congratulating them on that, you know, those, uh, those things. Yeah. People love, you know, just the, the shout out and like, Oh, you're talking about me. Like, yeah. yes, they're talking about you, Patrick. Thanks. For <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And the other couple things is, you know, we really do love FOMO. We love gamification. So on the back end, you as the seller are going to say, you're going to see that I've got a hundred of these in, or you're going to see that there's only seven left and you're going to be able to communicate that out to the audience so that they can get fast fingers and start hurry up and purchasing. Um, and if let's say you do sell out, there's an opportunity. We only have seven of them left, but I've got 10 comments in. Okay. I know 10 of you want it. You've all put it in your carts. The first seven to check out are actually mm -hmm. going to get the item. So just because you have it in your cart doesn't mean I'm going to hold it for you. Please know there's a lot of people watching and checking out right now. So please go hurry up and purchase. There's that sense of urgency that you get to give them there. Um, and it's great to be able to see the quantity on the back end. And you can also see your potential revenue from a live sale on the back end. So let's say we've we're doing one of those high velocity product live sales where we've got 35 products picked out because it's the end of season clearance and I've got 35 products. I had my sales staff update, uh, go ahead and prep the live and they've got all 35 products ready to go. And so when I do a live, I know, okay, if I sell everything here, I'm making $40,000 tonight. And just knowing that is your goal and really helps like the salesperson just add that extra mm, that they need to yeah. like really get it sold. <laughs> I mean, we have some shops that will generate $300 per minute. I know like when I worked in brick and mortar, we would talk about power hours, but this is more like power minutes. Like what was the moment where we sold the most going at the same time? So, um, but besides automating the invoice or besides like generating sales, the fact that our system is also automating the invoice system the entire time. Um, meaning that if you were to go sell on social and somebody said they wanted it, your staff would then have to go invoice and then go collect the payments. And there's a lot of work in doing that. And, and it is honestly a great way to get started. But if you start noticing that your employees are spending more than three hours a week sending invoices, collecting payments, then you'll know that it's time for you to actually get a system that can automate for you. And that's where we have the break-even point for our system, whether or not you need to know if Comment Sold is a good platform for you as well too. So um, yeah. Um, the last is just this overlay. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see, it here, but we do scratch out. So like if we're out of the extra larges, you're going to see an X. We're out of that next mm -hmm. up largest. Um, and if somebody wants one of those extra larges, but we're out, I would encourage them, you know what, if you want that extra large, go ahead and uh, put it on your wait list. Because if I get 20 people to put that on my wait list, I'll go ask the vendor to restock it and I can have them back out to you next week. Right. So the wait list itself ends up creating a, a whole nother revenue stream. And we're seeing about 30% of revenue. I have one shop that saw 30% of revenue on uh, the day after it was Tuesday. It was Cyber Monday. They did a big live. And then the next day they had 30% of their orders were on wait list. And so they just went back to the vendor and they're like, can we get some more of these? Yeah. These are people that already have their card on file that already have the item in their cart, and they've given us permission to charge their card. If you can just only, if only you can just get the item. Yeah. You get stock. it in. It's like, all right, half of these are already sold. So, right. you know. <laughs> yep. So um, I won't go too much more on that. Really just going to finish off here by just showing you one of the biggest benefits is of comment sold or a, a live sale platform in general, one of the things you're going to want is with our system is that you can syndicate simultaneously to all of these channels where people are. 
versus I think if you go and find some other platforms, they may only work with TikTok or they may only work with mm-hmm. Instagram. And for you building a business, you're going to, you've got shoppers probably in all of these places. And you never really also want to rely on any of these places. Yeah. Uh, I think we all know the days. Remember when Facebook went down that day? Or do you remember when you know, TikTok had an outage? You know, like you never, ever want to rely on any single platform. So and depending on where your customer, who your customer base is, they're on, I mean, even generally, generationally on different platforms. And so being able to hit, you know, multiple different platforms, you're hitting, you know, all of your audience. Yep. You may find that you're getting, well, right now we're seeing most of our customers are getting new customer acquisition on TikTok. True. However, True. they've got very loyal shoppers that will not leave Facebook. Yeah. As, as much as some people say they don't like Facebook anymore, Facebook and Instagram is still very healthy channels for many of our customers. Yeah. And then we also have, of course, people love the website and they are obsessed with the mobile app. Uh right. The mobile app, I I haven't really hit too much on it, but Comment Sold does give you a privately branded mobile app that's in the iOS or the Android store that's completely in your brand, and it has live shopping built into it. So when they download your mobile app, they're probably a pretty dang loyal customer. Because I don't know about you, but I've got about 30 apps on my phone. And I'll just use Home Depot because I'm obsessed with Home Depot. Um, uh, if anytime I need anything for my house, I'm immediately going to my Home Depot app, adding it to my car and either having it delivered or I'll go pick it up later. I'm not searching the internet for how do I buy door fixtures or window fixtures. I'm going straight to the place that I already know and trust. And so in retail, that happens too. If somebody needs a little black dress, where am I going to go buy it? I'm going to go buy it from the local place that I freaking love and I can easily download their app right now or jump into the app that I already have and purchase it and have local pickup or have it shipped directly to my house. Just especially for an independent business that mean, I mean, just feels like so much more sophisticated that it's like, oh, we have an app as well that you can download and you can go through and you can buy your products from here too. Um, yeah. just, yeah, it seems like much more developed, much more advanced as a business to be able to do that. Yeah. I, I think like in the seventies, I'll joke that, uh, we used to go get a business card yeah. and that was how you were legitimate. Yeah. I got yeah. a business card, you know, like <laughs> in the nineties, you're like, yeah, visit my website. But yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, but today new business owners, I mean, immediately when a new business owner like Gen Z or millennial goes and opens a business, they're like, Oh, let me go get my Instagram handle. Yep. They're backwards. They're not getting a brick and mortar first. They're getting social handles first. They're going live and then they're building up community and then they're getting a brick and mortar. They're doing it backwards. Yeah. Um, and so mobile apps are a huge part of the strategy in legitimizing yourself these days. So Um, I think that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to uh, go over. I really wanted to give you all a taste of what live selling is um, and show you some simple ways to do it. But if there are questions, I'd love to go through any of those. Um, But while we're waiting on any questions getting dropped, I definitely want to say thank you, Patrick, for having me here today and supporting us. And um, I think our missions are very aligned. We really want to help small businesses grow and power them to sell more. I mean, this is, I mean, it's something that it is kind of the next wave, the next frontier of, of buying. And I mean, you can reach your, your loyal customers, but people outside of your town, outside of your area can really find this as well. Um, so do have a question that came in, uh, price points. Um, so Paula had a question about what is the price point of comments sold if a retailer was looking to, to get into working with you all? Yeah, um, we have, I'm going to stop sharing and yeah. just go straight here, but uh, we have a few different plans. Uh, the The low end is about 149 a month and 5% on the transaction, or we do have up to 999 and 3% on the transaction. I will say most customers are in between. Our middle plan is 499 and 4% on the transaction. And those are transactions that are happening through the live sales. Um, So 
and, and anywhere between 149 and that 499 is is going to be yeah good. and that will get you the 149 plan does get you a mobile app as well so uh julie had a question can a retailer use comment sold just with their own inventory or are there companies that provide drop ship options Oh my, yes. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got started just by you enter your own inventory. Um, but here in August, we launched our dropship catalog as well. So if let's say you're doing lives and you run out of things to sell, don't worry. We've got <laughs> items in our dropship catalog that you can sell as well. Um, and it's a variety of different products and we are aggressively expanding that uh, every single day. So great question. Julie, very timely question. Got very that. Timely. Yeah, just I wasn't just launched that last either. month. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even going to say anything about dropship because it's so yeah. new. But, but hey, that's there. yeah, able to connect to a uh, vendor. Have to, all right, we have we've already sold it, so you can send it right right there. Yeah, and then and then there's even less work for you to do. Yeah. So it's it's a huge. Uh, it was a huge ask for many of our customers, mostly because they were running out of things to sell. You know, going to market, sourcing those items and then getting them in in a timely manner and like orchestrating, just getting inventory and procurement is can be a hassle. So, yeah, amazing and question. Julie. Meeting that is a great sign, right? Like yeah, we have sold everything in our store. We we need more. <laughs> what so. else can we sell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, other questions. That, so uh, if other people have questions, you know, please type them in. Uh, Carolyn, when, how can they contact you? How can they get in contact with Comment Soul? What's a uh, website or email address they, they can reach out to? Yeah, I mean, anybody is welcome to reach out directly to me and I can get you in our hands of our sales team if you want to do any type of demos and discoveries. So I'm happy to do any of that with you. I also just dropped, let me make sure it's, everybody can see it. Um, actually, I'm not sure if everyone can see it, but I uh, just... yeah, you did that just the hosts and panelists. So just to you and I, so you can change at the bottom to everyone if you'd like. Okay. I'm only seeing, I'm not seeing the everyone option. I will copy it and drop it into everybody. Maybe it's just me. Patrick has the power. He's gonna... I got, you know, there we go. Hopefully everyone can see that, but yeah, I want to explain that link. Yeah. So this link, this is our better together better who <laughs> better together landing page uh we know the power of hard on mainstream street and we want to definitely work with you all so feel free to fill out that any of the forms there we'll know that you're coming directly from main street and that's going to flag to me and my team and i want to make sure that somebody reaches out to you within uh, two business days but i also just dropped patrick dropped my email address in this chat as well um we would love to support you if you just want to contact me directly there I'm happy to work you with you that way. Yeah. Uh, let's make sure we got. All right. I don't see any other questions coming in. Um, so Carolyn, thank you so much for being on today. Uh, so, I mean, I, I am shocked by numbers, just the growth of this. I knew it was big, but it's something like this is, you know, and not only just fashion, but I mean, really so many different types of, you know, your, your dad's fishing stores are doing it. You know, all types of stores can do this, all can be successful with it. And it is a growing and growing market. So and it's not uh, stopping. And it is not stopping. stopping. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, that is the, how younger generation is buying and they will continue to grow into the majority buyers. And so that's something if we're familiar with it, we get comfortable with it. You can train your staff to be uh, to be good with it, or look for people that are comfortable doing that. Uh, we could really take great advantage uh, of of live selling. So uh, again, yeah, thank you so much for being on today. Yeah, absolutely. And if, when you all get started with us, definitely we do have a complete onboarding as well. So we are here to help you. We're not just going to say, good luck, <laughs> use the software. Uh, we do have like step-by-step -step tutorials. We have a whole strategy group on Facebook where people are talking about what's working with them in their region and with their product lines and what's best on each social platform. So yeah. not only do you get the tool, but you get the resources. In fact, that we're going to onboard you one-on-one, -on -one, hold your hand through the whole setup process. We're going to get you into our community as well, where it's just a bunch of live selling fanatics, people who are already ahead of the curve in the U S selling in this manner. So, um, you know, it's still early and now's a great time to take advantage of it.
Love it. Love it. And that's, yeah, love that community too, that people are, you know, a, a they're in your shoes too. How am I going to go about doing this? And how do I get started or hear my fears? Uh, they can help talk you through that. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all very, very much, Carolyn. Again, thank you. Um, and everyone have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.